The bullet that hit Jim Stevens in the head in Vietnam reduced his eyesight to a pinpoint. Yet Jim never lost his vision of how art could change his life and the lives of others. When Next last talked to him two years ago, he left us with this thought. I don't know how not to work on my art every day. That's what's next for me. That's the question that's next. What's next? That's my question to myself every day. What's next? Two years of asking, Jim found his answer. As you might expect, it involves using art to help veterans. He showed our new Roy. The story behind some of this art. I'm absolutely proud of these people. That story can be invisible until the artist decides to talk about it. I don't know that I could calculate the impact. Jim Stevens. It takes me about two months. Knows there is no way to quantify it saving a life. I know of three, three veteran artists that would have committed suicide. When the VA in Aurora wanted more veterans to create and display their art in the halls of their new facility. Art saves lives. Do you think it did that for you? It made sense. Yes. To go to Stevens to help launch the program. Some have gotten jobs out of it, um, just being more involved in the community. Sarah El Haj, a recreation therapist, says it's more than boosting confidence. It's oh, science. The serotonin levels when you're in a happier mood goes up. And has watched patients dial back on some of their medications. Not all medications, but it has substituted some um, medications, especially depression. So it made sense to Stevens to help with this project. I love faces. Who has clearly <laughs> seen the power in art. Art allows you to focus your attention on something other than your problems. For next, I'm Anusha Roy. The VA in Aurora says they believe they're the only location in the VA system with a program like that. Now with 400 veterans on their mailing list, encouraging them to do more art.